In this video, we'll do an integral of x over the square root of x squared minus 6x plus 8. The first thing we're going to do is complete the square of the denominator. We're going to look at the middle term, which is negative 6x. We're going to take negative 6 divided by 2 and square it to get 9. So we're going to add 9. That means we have to take away 9. And we're going to group the x squared minus 6x plus 9 term and factor it into x minus 3 squared. And then negative 9 plus 8 will be negative 1. Next, we're going to let u equal x minus 3. So du will be dx. x is then u plus 3. And the denominator is the square root of u squared minus 1. And we can break this up into two separate integrals. So u over the square root of u squared minus 1, and 3 over the square root of u squared minus 1. So we're only going to do this one step at a time. So let's work on the first integral. We'll let w equal u squared minus 1. So dw will be 2u du. Now u du will just be dw over 2. And then we'll have 1 over the square root of w. The integral becomes 1 over, sorry, the answer becomes square root of w. And then w, we said, is u squared minus 1. And from the previous slide, we had u equal x minus 3. So u squared minus 1 is then x squared minus 6x plus 8. And so that completes the first integral. Now we want to work on the second integral. In order to do this, we need to use a trick substitution. We'll let u equal secant theta. So du will be secant theta tangent theta d theta. We know that secant squared minus 1 is tangent squared. So we can substitute that in. We'll have a square root of tangent squared in the denominator. This square root and the square are going to cancel. We'll be we're left with the tangent of the denominator. That's going to cancel with the tangent at the top. So I have 3 times the integral of secant theta d theta. And that is just 3 ln secant theta plus tangent theta. Now we said u was secant theta. Okay, so then cosine is 1 over u. 1 being the adjacent side, u being the hypotenuse. So then we can do the Pythagorean theorem to get the square root of u squared minus 1 as the height. So let's go back. We have 3 ln secant theta plus tangent theta. Secant theta, well we said that was u, but tangent theta, that's opposite over adjacent, so that's just square root of u squared minus 1. And originally we had u equal x minus 3. So we'll replace the u's with x minus 3. And so that completes the second part of the integral. Now we have to combine our results. So we broke it up into two separate integrals. The first integral, the answer was a square root of x squared minus 6x plus 8. And the last integral is what's above here. And then all we need to do is just add a constant. And that is our final answer.